how do you make the diagnosis so what are the investigations that you perform first of all uh, cpam can be diagnosed prenatally so you can do a prenatal ultrasound on prenatal ultrasound you it can be easily detected remember that prenatal ultrasound can detect cpam usually around 20 to 21 weeks of gestation and prenatal ultrasound we always if cpam present we always calculate a value a ratio called as cpam volume ratio the importance of this cpam volume ratio is that it predicts the occurrence of fetal high drops and if cpam volume ratio is very high it also indicates development of pulmonary hypoplasia because the large cyst may encroach upon the normal lung tissue and cause pulmonary hypoplasia so cpam volume ratio is something which can be asked in entrance exam postnatally you will perform test like chest x ray chest x ray will show the presence of cystic mass in one loop or in one lung which may or may not be associated with mediastinal shift a close differential diagnosis of cpam is congenital diaphragmatic hernia in congenital diaphragmatic hernia there will be cystic masses may uh, sometimes filled with air fluid level encroaching into one hemithorax if it is present on the left side just like it occurs in bordelex hernia sometimes cpam and cdh are difficult to distinguish although texts say that uh, you can look for multiple features like the diaphragm status whether the diaphragm is visible or it is not visible as in case of cdh or uh, whether whether patients uh, clearly uh, cystic masses are present only in hemithorax or in the abdomen also indicating that the intestine is looping and getting obstructed in practical scenario sometimes it is very difficult to rule out the two conditions so you need to look at the clinical correlation as well as perform ct scan of the chest so ct scan of the chest is considered to be the most accurate investigation for diagnosing and delineating patients of cpam and this is the one which also rules out any doubt of congenital diaphragmatic hernia as well so if i have to show you a picture of how chest x ray looks like this is one chest x ray on on the left side there are cystic masses which are causing mediastinal shift this is another chest x ray of cpam as you can see two different x rays and you can see multiple uh, cystic masses which are displacing the lung towards the other side so there is a media channel shift which is happening the cardiac shadow is moved here and so the diagnosis in both of these patients is cpam